Triple E EDC back again with another knife sale. I've got a couple of knives here up tonight for sale and as many of you guys know the reason I do these knife sales is so I can continue to fund knives for the channel but also so I can continue to fund the giveaway knives and I need to keep a constant flow of rotation going so I'd appreciate definitely any help you can do to help some of that along by buying uh, some of these knives and hopefully getting some good prices and helping yourself to some deals in the in the making as well. If you're interested in any of these knives, they are all uh, going to be listed on a or best reasonable offer basis. Anyone who gives a full price offer will automatically get the knife if you're the first person for it. If you give me a, a, an offer, then I'm going to you know reserve the right to reject it or counter it or whatever. Uh, and you know obviously if someone else comes in after you and gives a full price offer, they would get the knife. But um, Either way, I am willing to negotiate uh, for most of these, but I'm gonna go ahead and uh, show you. We've got a bunch of knives here tonight. First of all, we've got the Bag at Steelcraft Bodega. Very, very nice knife. Um, this is made by Rayot. The action on here is very good, very smooth. As you can see, just, just very, very nice. And I love how this um, cutout here or the uh, pivot, I should say, reminds me of the fuel tank on a Harley. Great, great, um, you know, knife. You got the coating here. You've got uh, the fan design. This came in two designs. This is the fan design, um, and it's got a couple of different colors it comes in, color combinations. This is the um, uh, gray, grayish bronze titanium, I guess is what you would call it. The raw titanium, I think, is. Actually, I think this is the raw titanium version. Um, and uh, yeah, very, very nice knife. It can be um, Spidey Flicked if you were curious. So if you like to Spidey Flick a knife, it can be Spidey Flicked. It has a really nice detent and a nice thwack as you just saw. These go for like 460 bucks um, retail every once in a while. They're also like, you know, sold out in most places. Um, every once in a while they will go on sale. Uh, and knives ship free. When they go on sale and knives ship free, they're usually listed, you know, in the high 200s, low 300s. Uh, right now, I think they're still 460, um, or they may even be sold out. I'm going to go ahead and lift this, list this at 325. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously, as far as condition goes, it's been used, I think, to cut one or two things. Not really too bad. Uh, otherwise, you can see coating is pretty much even all the way across. It's not really where you're seeing, that's just the coating. And yeah, you can take a look at that. The next knife up for sale. Again, if you're interested, email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Again, triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Next knife is the SOCP dagger, uh, they're the folder, I should say, the SOCP folder from Benchmade. This is uh, the combo edge version. This is a four and a half inch blade, so you really get plenty of plain edge in addition to the combo, which is one of the why this is one of the few combos I have. Uh, this is G10, not the carbon fiber elite. This is G10. This is the original version. Uh, this is a first production of the original version, number 359 uh, of 1200. What the, what does that mean? That it's the original version. It means it's a liner lock. This is not an axis lock. It does not have the axis lock on the new versions. Uh, the new versions, by the way, were recently discontinued. Um, but this is a liner lock. I actually like the liner lock better for one very important reason. It comes with this clip. Uh, now the other one comes with the clip, but this clip blocks the axis bar on the other one. On this one, it does not block anything because you have the thumb disc and you have the liner lock. And I really like it. The action on this is absolutely superb. I mean, you can see it just you know, flies back and I'm not even, I don't even really have this on an angle. It's pretty much, you know, straight across for the most part. So uh, I just tilt it slightly and it really just, you know, falls down like that. I don't want to damage the uh, leather here, but you can really get the idea. Yeah, it really just comes down. And um, yeah, it's, uh, uh, it has these grooves here to index the knife. So, it, you know, it's meant to be a self-defense knife. So if you hold the grooves, you can index it around to a, to a reverse grip or back around to a forward grip. Uh, and you know, the, this is where your hand goes in. So it really, the clip doesn't get in the way at all. Zero hotspot there. What is this clip? Why is this clip so great? Well, this actually is about the size of a belt and this sits behind your belt, you know, uh, and then you can go ahead, your belt goes across here. 
across the face here and then you can just reach behind your belt and pull it out and it has a glass breaker on the bottom I mean this is just an overall great design um, very very nice design here as far as condition goes uh, this has been carried uh, not a ton of use because it's, it's been carried more for self-defense um, but you can see there's a little mark there uh, and there is you know it's slightly off-center here those are the two main things um, you don't really get a whole lot of blade rub or anything so the off-center really isn't an issue um, but it is something to be aware of this is um, this was 200 originally the new ones are around um, 200 but have recently been discontinued the the axis lock ones those are now going for like 162 or something like that um, this is no longer available obviously this is the liner lock original I'm gonna go ahead and list this at 140 and uh, you know we'll go from there okay again triple dot e dot edc at gmail.com next up we have the Protec Invictus now I love this knife I would not be getting rid of this knife if I just didn't have way too many knives um, this is a tank it is an out the side auto you can hear that you know click when it locks in you hear that thwack when it comes out this is one of the best you know uh, feeling autos out the side autos I've ever had and I can't believe I'm selling it to be honest but I've just got to make some make some room unfortunately uh, it has it also is very fidgety for a um, f fidget friendly I should say for a auto because you know you can really close it pr really easily and go back and do that um, sorry I'm flipping it over a lot I know you probably guys are probably trying to take a look at it you can take a look at it there this is in great condition it's a little wear mark on the edge right there from carry and again here a little tiny wear mark there and you can see a little bit of um, uh, scratches from cutting cardboard but other than that this is a very clean blade very nice very very nice out the side automatic these go for about 280 ish 282 something like that on the um, for brand new uh, I'll go ahead and list this at 225 and uh, again you can reach me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com next up we got the Benchmade Presidio 2 this is the aluminum scale version not the CF Elite and this is also discontinued no longer available stainless steel liners with the aluminum relief for weight as you can see a little bit of wear from carry there is some there's like a ding right there to so just be aware of some scratches on the blade this was originally a $200 knife the new ones in CF Elite are much cheaper. They're more like 135, 140, something like that. Um, and the the new ones obviously are a lot lighter because they're CF Elite. I really, really prefer the feel of the aluminum ones. So you know, my recommendation would be even if you don't go with me, go with an aluminum one uh, if you can find one. But uh, yeah, you have those scratches on the blade. Just be aware of that. This is from a previous owner. And these are originally, like I said, around $200. Uh, and the CF Elite ones are around like 135, 140-ish. Uh, the This one I'll go ahead and list at an even $100. Just $100. Again, email me at triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Next up, we have the Hogue Compound. This is an out the front. This is a... Um, G10 out the front with an aluminum chassis, Tonto blade, beautiful G-Mascus. The steel on this is S30V, it's an, an Alicia West design. This is probably the best ergonomic OTF that Hogue makes. I've had my hand on a couple of them. And it really, they do a good job of getting this thing to fire very easily by having this G10 button that ha is raised up a little bit without being too intrusive. 
very very easy to fire nice feed you know haptic feedback on it pocket clip is pretty good you know obviously you got the branding on there um, the condition actually is pretty new I mean this is only been used a handful of times maybe like two three times uh, just for review purposes but the opening and closing of it you know it's been open open and closed probably 200 you know 200 300 times because I just sit there and play with it um, and as a result you are getting some uh, I don't know if you can see it here but yeah there's some rub on you can see the lines here from the aluminum chassis So again, these are uh, 223, I think, normally. Uh, and I'm gonna go ahead and list this at 180. 180, they're normally 223. I'm gonna list this at 180. Great option for an under $200 OTF. Next up, we have the Benchmade Fixed Adamus. This is a fixed blade with no scales. You got a paracord wrap. You got the, I think this is Bolteron. Could be, or it's injection molded. I'm not exactly sure. Um, but it's a, it's a pretty good sheath. It fits in uh, pretty well. So no, no rattle until you're really like, you know, getting down on it. And then there is a rattle. Um, but it's, it's really in there. You're not, it's not going anywhere. And you have this nice thumb ramp to deploy it. So you come out. Then you've got the serrated edge on the back. This is meant for more of a uh, saw than a serrated knife. I mean, obviously I can run my finger across it. It's not sharpened other than the you know, look of it. But this is sharpened on the bottom. Very, very sharp CPM D2. Now this is CPM D2, not, um, uh, not like cheap budget D2. Uh, D2 is as a steel does much better in the um, in the powder metallurgy process than a lot of other steels. That's because the uh, the regular D2 I think has a coarse structure, from my understanding, and you know the, so getting into a fine powder structure makes it much more uniform. Whereas something like 154 CM, which Protec uses a lot of. Uh, they don't go to CPM 154 because CPM one because 154 CM is such a fine grain structure that the added benefit is like a five percent benefit for a huge cost increase. You know, whereas the, here you have a huge benefit for a um, you know not entirely huge cost increase. So again, the uh, the grip on this with the paracord is very nice, very nice. Um, I actually wouldn't be getting rid of this if it wasn't for the fact that I literally have just way too many fixed blades right now and don't have enough, I don't have enough outdoor activities to really uh, justify how many I have right now. So this is going to go ahead and get listed. Um, let's go ahead and list it at $85. $85. So you can go ahead and uh, get that for $85. Triple dot edc at gmail.com. And last but certainly not least is one I'm really sorry to part with here, but I feel like I, again, have too many fixed blades. This is a 3V Midnight Burlap Micarta with mosaic pins, lanyard, and lanyard bead. Bark River Bravo Squad Leader. Now, what is the squad leader? It's the Bravo series, which has the Bravo handle. It's got the fuller here, the nice swedge there. And it's like a quarter inch thick. This thing is a thick boy. So this is definitely something that you're going to want to use um, camping or uh, um, outdoors bushcraft, you know, type of tasks. You can see here it has been used. Here's a condition. Mostly smudges for the most part, but there are a couple of scratches here. Hope that's picking it up. But again, if you're getting this, you're going to use it outdoors, so <laughs> not really a big deal. Bark River, of course, has a uh, great sharpening service or anything if you guys do want to sharpen it, but it should come pretty sharp as is. 
yeah, should come pretty sharp as is. Um, and uh, yeah, this has the Bravo handle, great ergonomic handle, something they're famous for. And this is just great for any type of task you need to do. You can get up close here and, uh, and do what you need to do. This is just, it's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Also comes with a beautiful, beautiful sheath. So this is originally I don't know, a 300 plus dollar knife. I'll go ahead and list this one for, um, let's do 260, $260 uh, for this one. And again, all of the knives you've seen tonight are our best reasonable offer. So go ahead and hit me up, triple.e.edc at gmail.com. Looking forward to uh, you know making some deals with you guys. Thanks so much.